In today's video, we're going to take a look at basic website design that doesn't require any code. When you're logged into WordPress, you can go to the appearance section or appearance menu right here and then go to themes. And under this themes menu, you will have the option of selecting the theme that you would like to apply. Think of a theme as a piece of clothing that you put over the top of your website. A piece of clothing is already put together. You don't have to select all of the individual strings that get weaved together for that piece of clothing. And a template is the same way. You don't have to know all of the code, all of the HTML and CSS to figure out how to design the website. You can just use the theme and then you can modify it as you like. Modifying a theme is kind of like rolling up the sleeves on your long sleeve shirt. Uh, there's not a lot that you can do with the modifications in some of the basic themes, but there are some things that you can change. So we'll get started with this theme right here called 2016. The 2016 and 2015 and so on and so forth themes are created and they're included with your WordPress install. Um, you can select a theme by hovering over it and then clicking activate. Uh, but since this one is already active on my site, I'm just going to click customize. And when you click customize, it's going to give you a preview of your home screen on the right hand side. And then on the left, you're going to see the customize menu. And the customize menu is going to give us some different options. Page is taking a little bit to load here. Um, so we'll go through all the options here on the left hand customize panel and I do want to point out that at the bottom here there's three different views there's a desktop view there's a tablet view and there's a mobile view and most people that read your website are going to be reading on a mobile device or on a tablet over 50 percent of all web traffic is on mobile devices so it's good to think about what is this going to look like for my mobile readers in addition to the traditional desktop view. First is the site identity. If you want to upload a logo, it's going to appear up here above the name of your site. So you can select a logo there and do that. Then you can change your site title by changing the text in this box. You can change the tagline that appears underneath your site title right here. And then you have an option of choosing whether or not those display. You can also choose your site icon right here. So a site icon, also known as a fav icon, is the little guy that shows up in the tab in the browser. So you can see there's the Gmail one, etc. So I have a little logo for my site that I put in there. And to do that, you can just click uh, change or upload image here. And anytime you make changes, go ahead and click save and then when you go back those changes will be applied under colors you can change any of the colors here so you know if I wanted to change my background to yellow and then I wanted uh, the actual background on the inside to be green and then I could change my text color to be I don't know something like this now this is a terrible design color I'm not trying to say this is what you should do but this is where you can edit those basic color schemes and then you can also choose from some of the different options they have here so you could go for a dark scheme a red scheme I'm just gonna set it back to the default because uh, that's the one that I like the best if you'd like you can also place a header image in here so I'll show you what that looks like when you have a header image so I'll select this one that I created and when you have a header image, it's just going to appear all the way across the top of the website. And typically, if you have a header image, I would recommend getting rid of the site identity here. But that's totally up to you. This is what it's going to look like on tablet and on mobile. And so that's going to show up on all of those different pages. So I'm actually just going to go back um, with, and I don't want that one in there. So. All right, next is the background image. If on this uh, black area around the edges you wanted an image instead of a color, you could upload an image here. Under your menus, you can add new menus to your site right here. Um, I've already added a menu called Homepage Menu, and so when you click on that, it'll allow you to reorder the different links in your menu over here on the right. So the order that I like is Blog Home About. 
Um, and then by dragging to the right, you can actually create layers in your menu. So you can see here, now I have these other options. When I hover over blog, it will let me click on home. So if you wanted to create a menu structure where maybe you have services and then you have all sorts of different services underneath that list, that's how you would do it here. To add an item to this list, you just click add items. You can add in custom links, posts, pages, all the way through here. And then um, once you've picked that item, so let's say that I added in a, an item here, then you have the option of reordering these or you can drag and drop. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and remove this because I don't actually want that on the site. So then again, hit save and publish and that will apply all of the changes that you just made to your website. Um, and you'll notice that we haven't used any code, which is fantastic. Uh, on the right hand side and at the bottom, you'll see different widgets. So this is a search widget, a recent posts widget. Uh, this is a convert kit widget for an email marketing program that I like and a uh, Bluehost advertisement for uh, hosting. And then at the bottom you can have widgets as well. So I have a social media icons widget and a Facebook widget. And you can change those here by going to the sidebar, the content, and you can do all sorts of cool things with widgets. So when you click add a widget, there's a number of pre-installed ones that you can do. And then you'll also see one called text. And text means you can actually put some HTML in here. So if you go online and find a custom widget, they'll give you a snippet of code that you can copy and paste into one of the text widgets, and then that will appear on your site. So those are some cool things you can do. And then the last option here is static front page. This is a really important thing to consider. When you have people come to your website, do you want them to come to a static page? or do you want them to come to the blog page with all of your most recent posts? If you click on your latest posts, then on the home page, they'll be able to see all of your most recent blog posts. So here I had a post about purchasing a domain name and hosting. I had another one about choosing the right domain name. So you can see when you type in correctcadence.com, it would just show you all of my posts right away. Uh, most people prefer a static home page because then you can control uh, what the appearance is a little bit more and you can send people to specific pages or resources that you want them to land on and then people would view the blog by clicking on the blog link here. So those are some of the basic things that you can do with your WordPress theme and I will go back to uh, the theme section here and lets you know that you don't have to use any of these pre-installed themes. If you search up here in the search bar, you can find additional themes. So for instance, um, if I like having a white theme, you know that's gonna show me here all of the different options. But if I click add new, this gives me access to um, a repository of themes where I can see other free themes that I can install onto my WordPress site. And I'm getting a, an error here, so I'll have to show you that at another time. Um, but you can also install uh, premium themes. So if you buy a theme from a website like Theme Forest, then uh, you can install that here as well. So that's what I've done here. And in a future video, when I actually take the time to design my site a little bit more, I will install um, Avada, which is a really robust theme. It's more complex to use, but it does give you a really beautiful site. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about themes and applying them to your WordPress site, leave a comment below and uh, I'd be happy to help.